presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? <clears throat> happy New Year, too, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out at you? Sure. <laughs> in the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years ago. Oh, yeah. And it kind of hit me like a brick. You're right. Somebody always knows something. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, brother? I'm calling you back, Tom. This morning, I had the, a pleasure to talk to you and your son, and I don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again. Why? Well, I, I think you made some money on this bond. <laughs> oh, yes, Tom. Your newsletter helped me. That's a beautiful to, uh, thing. We appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're here five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 16, NASDAQ up 28, S&P's up 4.5, gold contract uh, down a buck, 12.63 an ounce, silver off uh, 27 cents, off 2 cents rather, $16.22 an ounce, platinum up 3 bucks. Trading at 968.13 an ounce. You have copper up two and a half pennies at 290 a pound. Late sweet crude down 26 cents, $49.32 a barrel. Notes. 10 year note up two ticks, 126.05. 30 year up seven, 154.10. Now they both rejected the lower price once again, folks. Bottom line, they want to go after those June highs. King dollar. King dollar down 96 ticks, trading at 93.320. With devil King dollar, you're backing down, you get light volume. It's actually staying right very close to the highs that were out there on Friday. That King dollar wants higher price. The real question is going to be, uh, is this a B to a C of an ABC structure on the way down? And uh, we'll know that within two or three days. Because if we uh, get the expansion higher, which I expect we're going to, and you have a volume contracting, that's the that's the next setup for the B to a C of a very large ABC structure on the way down. The euro is trading at 117, almost 118 to the US dollar. The yen out here is at 117 and, a qua and three quarters to the US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have here at all time highs? Uh, the SPY, we're at 274.74. 248, 247.74, 248 wants to get tagged. Uh, what we had out here on Friday, you got the 247.79, it had volume behind the move, meaning not, yeah, we had 60 million shares. Um, we got to a 247.77 thus far today. I suspect as we're coming into this close, it's gonna try to probably whack at least the high of Friday, which is only five pennies higher, and we'll see whether it can get up into and test that high from the 27th, which is 248 even. Dow Industrials, Dow's at another all-time high. Give it another day. Every day we get an all-time high out here. Uh, this thing started hitting all-time highs. Uh, well, I'm talking about streaking one after the other on the 25th of uh, July, and then just hasn't stopped since. The composite, NASDAQ composite. What do you have with the composite? Composite right now is up $28. I expect the composite's going to try to hit uh, the 63.94. The 63.94 was the high that was generated on the 8th, on the 2nd of August, as well as the 31st of June. I don't expect the composite's going to get up to this 64.60, which was the high generated on July 27th. The NDX 100, what do you have with the NDX right now, the three Qs? Three Qs are trying to test this baby right now. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52. 144.52
We hit 144.39 today. Uh, the volume there is 41 million. Uh, Friday, uh, you went sideways with 29. Right now, you got 11.9. I'd actually like to see it tested today, but I don't think we're going to get uh, that high. But that's, that looks to me like that's what it wants to test. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract is sideways movement out here today, folks. Light volume. You've done 115,000 contracts. Um, it, we're at 1263. 1250 is game. And, and where 1250 comes from is the highs it's actually 1249.60 it's the highs of the downdraft from july 3rd you know that is going to be that's monster volume uh now if we break that with volume bottom line is that you can get a lot lower uh we'll see how it handles that because that also lines up with the low that was established on july 26th so, so july 26th had been testing the third of july of july rejected it and that's when we went from 1249 up into the 1280 area. Silver, silver, silver's got a, silver's a lot weaker. That's, that's how silver's sh shaking out here. Uh, we have silver trading at a price point of $16.31. Now, the danger in silver is going to be that uh, it actually gets very, down very close to its last low. So, silver contract right here. We get big volume out here today. You had volume of 100, uh, 125,000. Uh, one second. That's not, okay. So we had volume of 12,589 on Friday. We get an additional 12,000 today. And it looks like the first test I expect is going to be $16. Oh, look at that. It did it today. Okay. So $16.19. This is what this is. That's the high of the July 7th trading day. And basically, thus far, it's rejected it. Um, I expect it's going to get into that baby again, and we'll see whether it's going to get down into this $15.80 area. Yeah, and this is light volume, but what this also is, let me go to the SLV, because we're, we're, we're rolled contracts. That's what's going on also. So if we look at the SLV, and this is a decent way to do this, by the way, folks, that you can go right to the ETF structure when you're rolling contracts to see, okay, how did you come down? Friday, we came down 12 million shares. That was a lot. Today, light volume, no doubt, 3.5 million. Um, and the area that I'm looking at for the test is the highs of the July 7th and July 10th area. And we'll see where that shakes out. Uh, notes. Notes and bonds continue to want higher price. Uh, ten year, you know, get down to 125.30 today. You're at 126.05. Rejected it. You've been building cars out here since uh, July 18th. So I expect, you know, this thing's going to make a run for the high of the 14th of June, which is 127.08. Thirty year, just about the exact same type of setup. Um, that rejected lower price at 153.28 today. And good old King Dollar. It's going to be about King Dollar, folks. King Dollar, uh, bottom line, you know, you got to 93.175 today. You're at 93.330. And King Dollar is game for like 95 to 96. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials right now of 12. You get the Nasdaq up 28. S&Ps are up five and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the first hour. Now, don't forget, folks, Steve's got a great program right here at TFNN, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time every trading day. Also, has a great newsletter. You can test drive 30 days, absolutely free. It's mastering probability. The way you test drive that, you come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters trading newsletters you see master and probability test drive at 30 days absolutely free steve rose what's going on well no, besides I'm going summer up. trading <laughs> what's that besides summer trading <laughs> <laughs> well hey i'm going to go out on a limb here cool i'm i am predicting that the dow is going to have a down day eventually <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously man <laughs> actually it's coming it's co it's probably coming sooner than later and that's what our first chart here okay. shows so this is a monthly chart for yeah. the uh, for the dow and uh this is where i've incorporated good old bud rolf's work of taking a look at primary trading ranges now i've automated this tool so i really refer to them as horizontal trading ranges because in this case here, it's slightly different than, than his work in the way that I can take each different time frame. This is a monthly chart. Yes. And come up with those different horizontal trading range levels. So on a weekly chart, we would see different uh, we would see different lines on a daily and so forth. But this is a great representation of how these solid uh, red lines, these horizontal trading ranges, really act as floors and ceilings. Once you get beyond a ceiling, that should become the next floor. And we did have a ceiling inside of the Dow at about the 20,539 level, Tom. Okay. And and when, once you get above one of those areas, you like to see price come back and, and test it. And that's what we had in the early part of 2017. Because it's just like a test and rejection of a swing point on light volume. Uh, in this case here, just looking at these horizontal ranges. So we're now headed up into this 22,211 area. We don't really use this, you know, right to the penny. Uh, but we're coming now up into this range here where really the uh, the pilot would be putting because he knows that there's turbulence ahead uh, that we should be uh, we should be coming into an eventual down day may not be tomorrow might be the next day but um, we are coming into an area now it doesn't mean that the Dow is topped necessarily but we're certainly as you say hey we got summer trading it's light volume it doesn't look like the upside potential is substantial at this stage now we close above 22 211 
a whole different story. But at this stage here, that's an important thing. Last week, when you and I were doing this segment, I unfortunately got cut off of the internet. Uh, I think I have that resolved. And we were talking about the Dow Transport. So I, I yes. thought we'd just stick with this theme a little bit. Okay. And in this case here, if we take a look at where we're at, the, now the Dow Transports, uh, we have a little bit of a divergence going on that the Dow is moving higher and the transports have been moving lower. And in this case here, if I take a look at the top chart is the transports, bottom chart is the Dow. And back in uh, November of 2014, November 24th to be exact, uh, the transports of the week that began November 24th, the Dow transports made a high. It took 25 weeks before the Dow Jones Industrials actually made its high. If we look in 1999, the transports made a high the week of May the 10th. It took an, it took 35 weeks before the Dow made its high in January of 2000. In uh, 1989, uh, we had the uh, Dow go ahead and top some 47 weeks later. Uh, July 23rd, 90 versus August uh, 28th of 1989. And in 1972, it took 40 weeks. So the divergence between the transports, I mean, they can be heading lower and the Dow can be heading higher. We've seen this pattern before out here. And uh, what that would take us to, it's only four data points, uh, five data points that we're using right now. But just as a frame of reference, either 25 or 35 or 40 or 47. If we extrapolate that out from the high thus far in the transports in July of this year, July 10th, 2017, that could take us to a topping pattern inside of the Dow sometime in 2018, January 1st, 2018 to June 20th, anytime in that span. Now, that would be time with the assumption that the transports are going to continue to diverge and head lower. Because if they go on and they make new highs, then this whole pattern, in essence, would uh, start over and over again. And uh, what I want to do is I want to stay with the Dow, but I'm going to switch over. I want everybody to keep in mind, it's not like this is a card trick or anything, but I want everybody to focus on this time period of January to June of 2018. Okay. And I'm going to show you another way that we can get there. And that is, remember, there was a time ago where... Most of the focus on the financial news was light sweet crude is up, the Dow is up, or the S&P is up. And there is a correlation. There is a positive correlation that exists. This happens to be a monthly chart for the Dow. It takes us back into the 2004 time frame. And the bottom panel of this, when it's above zero, tells us there is a positive correlation. So uh, light sweet crude, in essence, is moving higher. And this is, again, a monthly chart that we're looking at. We can see that at times those correlations go away, as they did in the 2000s. 2015 time frame out here and we know that because of this uh, correlation uh, identifier being below the uh, zero level now if we take light sweet crude and we stay with the theme of light sweet crude this is where it really gets kind of interesting is this just coincidental or not so the bottom panel of my chart happens to be a monthly chart for light sweet crude the top chart is the Dow now, what I've done with the bottom panel of my chart, Tom, is I have pushed it forward 10 years. Not, not a few days, not a few weeks, 10 years. And if we take a look at the peaks and valleys inside of this chart here for late sweet crude, it's uncanny how 10 years pushed forward in late sweet crude, where it tops, if you come back into the 2000 time frame, you see this big, huge spike that's out there. And it's not going to work exactly to the, to, the, to the week, but if we just take a look at it in essence with regard to when tops or bottoms inside the Dow form, you can see even in 2009, as pushed forward in light sweet crude, it identified or correlated or coordinated with regard to the Dow. So then that would say... Where are we going from here? At this chart here, because on my data charts, my candlestick charts, I can't push them forward uh, a year or two years or three years, but I can on this graph here. And this graph represents, if you push light sweet crude forward by 10 years, it shows a topping pattern in the 2018 time frame, somewhere, somewhere right around June as it is. So I'll go out on another limb 
and say that we don't really run into a significant market top inside of the Dow until sometime in 2018, more likely than not, not until the uh, June time frame. And with regard to the transports, a little bit of an unknown here might be the fact that last Wednesday, the transports confirmed a Gartley buy pattern, made a perfect 0.618 retracement, had a nice uh, a bullish uh, piercing candle that formed on uh, Thursday. And so it's a little bit of a wild card whether the transports are going to continue to head lower. There's always five potential outcomes for every Gartley. And one of those is making a 100% move of a move. We'll know one step at a time. Are the transports going to be able to do something more than just a dead cat bounce? And that's going to be at the 9360 level. So an interesting correlation between light sweet crude taking us out 10 years into the future. And folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. Go to newsletters. Go to trading newsletters. You see Mastering Probability. Test drive at 30 days. Absolutely free. Steve, thanks so much. Look forward to the show tomorrow. You bet. Um, take care. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC-insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge for daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. NASDAQ up 33, S&Ps are up five and a half. Let's go to uh, Danny in Atlanta. Hey, Danny, what's going on? Danny. Well, we missed him. 
Okay, so let's go inside the NDX 100 and see the strength versus the weakness uh, inside the NDX. Strength out here today, folks, uh, is that uh, these are semis. Okay, so you get Clack up 3.8%. You get Lamb Research up 3.8%. Uh, NVIDIA is up 2, uh, 3%. So those are all chip stocks. Uh, taken away from it, Myelin Pharmaceutical is down 2.4%. You get Cognizant Technology off 2%. Fast and All is down one6 we go inside the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the leader out here today, point-wise, is that you got Apple putting 21 positive points. Um, I mean, Apple putting 16, Goldman putting 21, Boeing putting 16, taking away from it. United Technologies is taking a hit. That's putting 23 negative in. You got IBM putting 11 negative in. Let's go back to Danny and Land. Hey, Danny, what's going on? Hi, Tom. Sorry about that. That's cool, man. That's cool. I uh, I guess the NASDAQ come on Friday, and I wanted to say thank you for having the contest and the prize. Well, that's a beautiful thing. I'm glad you took advantage of uh, and, and played uh, the close uh, on Facebook. And, you know, we appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. And, you know, today, folks, uh, I should have mentioned that, too, because the cutoff was just there. Each and every day during the month of August, we're going to be, uh, if you go to Facebook, you can go to our webpage at TFNN. Hit a link, go to Facebook, you like us, and then by 3.30 in the afternoon, uh, you hit, uh, give us a price. Today was the Dow Industrials. Uh, bottom line, we get the three prizes each and every day, and then uh, we're going to give a constitution out randomly, uh, whoever, you know, basically does in the comment line. Yeah, well, you know, that's, and Friday was close, man, huh? There was, there was, the people were really close on Friday. Yeah, uh, it was just a lucky guess. Can we take a look at Vista Gold, what it did today, VGZ? Yeah, it got smoked. And that's, uh, so Vista Gold, folks, and this is where this gets to be a shame sometimes. Uh, and what I mean by that is this. What you're going to see is that Vista Gold, bottom line right now, went down to 63 cents. And I can see this because this is our stops. You know, that's, that's what that was, too. That's, that thing came down this morning, hit our stops, and that's where all that volume is, too. So well, let's see what they have to say. So Vista, um, so let's see. So they announced the uh, unaudited results. Second quarter ended. Um, net loss of 2.7 million, three cents a share. 2.2 um, million net operating expenses. What you have with Vista is this. It, it, with, with, realistically, you're not going to get the news that they're looking for anyway, um, probably until September. Because I was re when I was reading this this morning, uh, they're looking at their Mount Todd project, and there's going to be a certain way that they're going to basically uh, try to m get the ore, not get it out, but how are they going to process the ore? You know, so. Technically, we want Vista inside 80 cents again, you know, and technically it's not done. I mean, it's, you know, yeah, I want this down to 63 cents, but, you know, we'll see what the volume is on the weekly, but it's coming into some pretty good volume. We're coming into 13.3 million. We only did 653,000 today, so. And okay. McEwen mined and did the same thing. You know, if you go look at McEwen, McEwen got hit also. I, I knew that I felt that McEwen was going to get hit, though, because they, they came out, they had an expansion of volume on Friday, came out with the numbers, and numbers were light, you know. So with Vista, I, I suspect if you're, if you're, are you still in it, Danny? No. Okay. So would you want to wait for, you want to wait for a sign of strength, you know, get it back above the 80 cents, and then we'll see where it shakes out. Okay. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thank you again. Thank you, man. And don't forget, folks, every trading day in August, uh, we will have uh, this contest. And the way you do it, if you're on Facebook, just pull TFNN up on Facebook. You're going to see it's pinned to the very top by like about 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we have the Dow Industrials today. It's, either always, it's always going to be the Dow, the NASDAQ, or the S&P. But you're going to call the close. Uh, we do cut it off at 3.30 so that we can get the thing straight. So uh, check it out, and uh, let's go take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here um, and see what we have. So you got uh, Advanced Micro is up 27 cents. 
You got uh, JCPenney down four. We got Ford off three cents. Apple's up 229. Nvidia's up 463. Let's go over to Apple for a second. So, looks like Apple's ready to take off. So, Apple's over its highs from uh, May, which is 156, 65. It's going, I see what it's doing. Okay, so it's going up to test the, the high of uh, when it came out with earnings, which is 159.75. Right now you're at 158.66. NVDA, NVIDIA. NVIDIA right now is, uh, I think this is a new all time high. 160, yeah, 171.80. That's what it looks like. One second, let me pull this back. It is. That's an all. Man, this is parabolic. Holy cow. Now, if you want to see something that's parabolic, and do not go shot the stock, folks, but if you want to see a para what a parabolic move is, you can look at NVIDIA. You know, this is a, this is a, it was $24 February of 2016, and it's just a straight line move. Man, I haven't seen an equity like this in a long time. Uh, maybe the next one is going to be Bitcoin, because if you do take a look at Bitcoin, this is pretty amazing. Now, this, this is not tradable. Um, what's going to be intriguing with Bitcoin is that they uh, are going to trade options on it, I believe, within about another six to eight weeks. Um, they got the okay to trade options on it. And what's also going to be intriguing, actually, is this, is that the Winklevoss twins, their ETF got shut down. That being said, though, what's going on is that the new, uh, one of the new commissioners uh, in the SEC actually comes from that law firm. So <laughs> that's going to, I suspect, be revisited uh, in the future. But this Bitcoin deal, man, is pretty intense. Bitcoin on Friday closed at 2831. It's 3354. And if it's an ABC structure up, you're going to be talking like 3800 to $4,000. Um, and that's about as, as intense that you can get, because if we take a look at the expansion on this, what you're going to see, yeah, July, yeah, it's a double. 1852. The low in, 18, in July was 1852. Now you're at 3356. Um, IBM, IBM's having a problem because Warren Buffett's uh, selling away. Uh, if we take a look at uh, IBM, what you're going to see with IBM, uh, that's breaking out a low. You know, this has been on a big downdraft anyway. It was 182 six months ago. I believe the high is 210. Let me see this for a second. It's amazing how years just go by. Yeah, 215. So this hit a high in 2013. We're in 2017. First leg down, took it uh, straight down to 116. Did a counter trend bounce up to 182. And you're at 143. You know, so this baby... Uh, yeah, this baby's going to go try to revisit 134 to 116. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials up 14. NASDAQ up 28. S&P's up 5. We're going to be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. 
The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Let's go over and take a look at the Rand dollar. So, Rand dollar out here, folks, uh, is trading at a price point of 13.24 Rand dollars to one U.S. dollar. Now, what's going to get intriguing out here tonight? is this, is that the, uh, here we go, okay. So, uh, the South African rand could surge if President uh, Jacob Zuma is ousted by a motion of no confidence in the nation's parliament. Uh, this, this vote is going to take place tomorrow, folks. The currency was the best performer among 31 major peers Monday after the National Assembly said the parliament would vote a secret ballot on uh, Tuesday. The news boosted overnight volatility in Iran to the highest level since uh, early May on a closing basis. Uh, if we take a look at this, now this, this has to do, let's go over to Harmony Gold for a second. So Harmony right now, uh, trading 166, looks like it's going to at least try to test the 163 area. You got, let me, actually, I'm going to bring up Harmony in South Africa for us. Let's see what happens in South Africa today. Okay, so it's light volume in South Africa too. So Harmony's trading uh, 21,900 Rand dollars to one US dollar. Uh, that baby is uh, coming back into 2130. Yeah, this, 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 this still looks good. This looks good. So if we do that correlation and go back to the Rand for a second, so the RAND, put this on a weekly. Yeah, the RAND looks like it still wants a higher price, which is actually weaker. But for the, for the gold companies, that's when they make a fortune because what ends up happening um, is, the, is the essence of they get paid in U.S. dollars and their expenses are in RAND. And so when you pull, when you take a look at this, watch this, this gets wild. Harmony has 27,200 employees in South Africa. So um, if we go over and we take a look at uh, Great Panther, yeah, Great Panther also come out with numbers. Uh, now I, I talked to, uh, well, I email, emailed uh, Bob Archer. We were, we were talking through email last night. Bob's going to be coming on um, uh, either Thursday or Friday this week. He's going to give me a... Uh, a heads up in the next couple of days, uh, and this is this is impressive. Uh, bottom line, uh, he they came out with the numbers. The numbers were good. Uh, now, what, what is going to happen, which is going to be pretty cool. So, first we'll interview Bob, and then um, in the next couple of months, I'll try to get hold of the. Well, I will get hold of the new um, president and CEO because that uh, Bob's retiring. Uh, he's been 
he's been the founder. He started in 2004, so it's been quite a run. There's no doubt about that. Uh, and uh, the way the Great Panther is uh, lined up there for, for a weak metals market, um, it's intriguing that this is held really well. Now, it's been, it's been a killer because it's been in the same place since last April. You know, that being said, um, the bottom line is that it's not smoked as some of these have got smoked. Uh, we take, let's go over to the, uh, there we go. Let's, let's go over to Europe and take a look at what we had happen in Europe today. So you had the FTSE up two tenths of a percent. The cat was flat. The DAX was down three tenths of one percent. If we do go take a look at this DAX, the DAX right now is trading 12,257. That failed today. Try to get over the small consolidation. Couldn't handle it. We'll see whether it's going to... Yeah, so the DAX is off the high of uh, 12951 That's 700 bucks off of that. Looks like it wants lower price. And that's going to be really intriguing because... So what we have now is this. We have window dressings over. You, no doubt you have summer trading. We have summer trading, like, say, you know, bottom line for another three or four weeks. Uh, you have the full moon tonight. We have a... Uh, Eclipse, a full eclipse on the 21st of August, and then bottom line, come September, you know, you're back to um, real action inside the marketplace. Uh, out here today, if we go take a let's go take a look at Walmart, actually, because you get the, between Walmart and uh, Amazon, they're battling it out. Uh, you know, Walmart had a last couple of weeks were good weeks. It got over the $80 mark, and it's like, okay, you're going to make this run. It's going to need more volume, but let's see. Yeah. yeah, you know, it looks like, you know, if Walmart gets, if Walmart stays over this $81.35 area, uh, you, get, you get a shooting star at the highs of 90 bucks that more than likely will get tested because those shooting stars love to get tested. Look at that, man. Yeah, at the low of the high is $84.90. The high is $90.97. That's game. That's game to get tested. Uh, Disney. Let's go take a look at Disney. So Disney's coming out with its numbers uh, the tomorrow. Tomorrow at 5 past 4. Disney's in trouble. This is going to be interesting watching Disney shake out. So Disney's off the high of 115. Yeah, it's got high volume. Okay, this is going to be wild watching this shake out. So Disney's got a high volume low, folks, at 86. It's like, that can get hit in a heartbeat. One second. Yeah, it's, so Disney's in a consolidation. Yeah, 96 to 80. And then it came off. In May, it actually came down again with volume, 115 to 105. You went up last month with 114 million after coming down 173. That's saying that Disney is going to, uh, bottom line, not make their numbers. And of course, what's hanging in Disney's fate is the amount of cord cutting uh, that's affecting their ESPN deal. There's, there's no two ways about that. Um, we'll, we'll see uh, how that shakes out. You go take a look at the VZ. Let's go take a look at Verizon out here. So uh, Verizon has been on a little tear since they came out with their numbers. Went from 44 to 48. And this pays, uh, still pays a monster dividend, 4.7%. And if we take a look at this and we put this back a bit. Well, it's, gonna, it's coming into a downdraft. It's a pretty heavy downdraft from uh, January of 2017, but it looks like it actually can try to at least get up into this uh, $50 area. It's going to be hard for it to get to that $52 because we went from 52 to 48, did 145 million shares, um, and we're, we're banging about 110 million. So that's, that needs a pickup in order to get up into that higher price out there. Uh, the GDX, let's go take a look at the GDX out here. So the GDX right now, um, down nine cents, no big deal there. But what I don't like is just hanging at the lows out here. So this thing, you know, light volume today, there's no doubt about that. Uh, but it didn't hit 
the low of Friday. It would have been nice if it actually hit the low of Friday, which is $22.19. It hit $22.21. You're at $22.24. Bottom line, you know, let's go look at Barrick ABX. That's your largest weighting. Yeah, Barrick's done the same thing. Newmont is the second largest weighting. <laughs> They're all doing the same thing. Uh, oh, I know. Let's look at this one. So Royal Gold is coming out the 10th before the market opens. You stay right there, folks, and we'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now up 17, NASDAQ up 33, S&P's up five and a half. We're gonna right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Basil Chapman will be giving a two-series webinar Wednesday, August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Each time the market feels it's ready to have a sharp decline, formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. This two-webinar series will be free for Basil's opening call subscribers, and non-subscribers will also receive his daily newsletter for one month free as a trial subscription. Sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, and gain access to his subscriber-only webinar on August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Hi everyone, this is Basil Chapman and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my webinar series. To sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter and gain access to Basil's webinar, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Um, here, so check this out, man. You know, they make a lot of money in New York, but, man, they are taxing them to, up to the hilt. Uh, let's see. Where, where? Let me get this one here. So... They're having problems with their subway, folks, right? Um, New York Mayor Bill de Blasio, a Democrat seeking re-election this year, proposed a tax uh, on the wealthy to repair the city's deteriorating system, subway system. The plan would increase the city's highest income tax rate to 4.41% from 3.88 on earnings above 500 grand for individuals and 1 million for couples. The move would affect about 32,000 people and raise 800 million a year. Uh, most of the revenue would go towards fixing a mass transit 
that has been plagued in recent months by breakdowns and delays contributed to its first decrease in ridership in more than 20 years. Uh, 200, about 250 million would subsidize half price fares for the 800,000 New Yorkers living below the federal poverty, poverty line. Um, rather than sending the bill to wor working families and, su and subway and bus riders already feeling the pressure of rising fares and bad service, we are asking the wealthiest in the city to chip in. The idea is sure to provoke more disagreement between the mayor and Governor Andrew Cuomo, who had been feuding since de Blasio, de Blasio took office in 2014. Um, Como, also a Democrat, has insisted the city pay half of the $830 million emergency overhaul proposed last month by its chairman of the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. The mayor said the city already is giving its fair share. While the city owns the subway system, the MTA runs it. Uh, it's interesting because, you know, the, their pro I, I suspect they're fighting about Let's see, that's a city tax, right? Pros of tax. Yeah, the city's, that's a city tax versus a state tax. So I'm wondering, does, does, uh, does New York also pay a, a city tax, a state tax, and then a government, I mean, then a federal tax? Pretty wild. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with some numbers uh, after the close. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 25. NASDAQ up 32. S&P's up 5.5. We're going to be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Call 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Marty in Worcester. Hey, Marty, what's going on? Uh, hi, Mr. O'Brien. How are you? I'm doing great. How you been, man? Not bad. You know, you guys, over the time and with a few of your courses and seminars, you know, you taught me how to fish. That's a beautiful thing, brother. Yeah, it's true. And so what happens is I still listen all the time, and to not only you, but some of the others. Sure. To, you know, get an idea where the fish might be biting. It's as far as your services, they're a bargain. When you compare them to a certain prominent man with real estate courses at $35,000 and no contact with the lecturers afterwards at all, and you think of what you guys do for a few hundred, and you can get access and ask questions forever, you know, it's a great deal. No, no, we appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 25, new all time high. What else is different? NASDAQ up 32, SP's up six, gold contract down a buck and a half at 12.63 an ounce, silver. Down three cents, sixteen dollars twenty-two cents an ounce. Platinum up two and a half bucks at nine sixty-seven an ounce. You get the copper market up two and a half pennies at two ninety a pound. Light sweet crude down twenty-eight cents, forty-nine dollars thirty cents a barrel. Notes 
10-year note up three ticks, 126.05. 30-year bond up nine, up eight ticks, 154.11. King dollar down 116 ticks at 93.300. The euro is at 118 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is at 110 and three quarters to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You got a SPY that's traded up 43 cents. You're at $247.84. This wants to test the 248, which was the high that was generated out here on the 27th. Anemic volume, no doubt. You've done 27 million shares versus Friday of 60 million versus the high of 70 million. Dow Industrials, you take a look at the Dow. The Dow Industrials was pretty amazing, folks, that um, you're, you have $25. You're at an all-time high, 22,111. But watch this. This is pretty. You talk about a contraction of volume. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty wild. So check this out. When we first put this volume up, this volume, as of even three minutes ago, was only 494 million. Guess what? 743 million. Bottom line, that's not 494. So you, it's not huge volume, but you did get the volume in there. NASDAQ Composite. What do we have with the Composite? Composite out here trading at a price point of 63.83. I expect the Composite is going to test August 2nd as well as the 31st. Those numbers are 63.96. And right now you're at 63.83. The NDX 100, what do you have with the NDX 100? NDX 100 up 90, the three Qs are up 91 cents. You're trading at 144.56. The high of last Wednesday was 144.52. You just took it out, took it out with light volume. Guess what, took it out. That's saying you're going to get up into this 145 area. The actual high inside the NDX is 145.96. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract out here, folks. Went sideways today. Had light volume. Uh, gold looks to me like it wants to run down to this 1250, which is nothing, by the way. It's only 13 bucks down. And uh, we'll see uh, what kind of juice we get down there. Now, the reason that I'm saying that is if we go back over to the US dollar, what you're gonna see inside the dollar is this. Uh, the dollar index on Friday takes off from 92.580, trades up to 93.640, has some good volume behind the move. We did uh, 31,000 contracts. It broke the downtrend. That was a stab that, that comes from approximately the well, the most conservative way to do it, approximately 96, 255. And I do expect you're going to get a, a counter trend bounce out of this because what we did out here today, you didn't get much movement. There weren't sellers there. You build, you go sideways for a few days, then this thing probably wouldn't like will take off topside once again. We take a look at the notes, the 10 year note, the 30 year bond. They both rejected lower price out here today. The 10 year, was at 125.30, closed at 126.05, had light volume as it went against the strength from the last week, um, and you have a high volume high at the 14th of June, which is 127.08. The 30 year is the exact same type of setup, meaning the same day, the 14th, uh, 27th of June. Okay, hold on one second. Interesting. 26th. Let me just see this. No, it isn't. It's interesting. So the 30 year has a different uh, day high, too. But 30 year, it wants to go after it. Uh, that established a high uh, two weeks uh, later than the uh, 10 year. So the, the high in the 30 year is 157.08. And right now we're at 154.10. Uh, we go. We take a look at the uh, oil market. What we have with oil, and there's a two-day uh, OPEC meeting that's starting right now. Uh, we'll be starting in the next uh, few hours, uh, our time, uh, which is in the morning their time. Uh, right now, what you have is that you have oil trading out at forty-nine dollars thirty-two cents. 
You have a high volume high from last week of 5043. So that's saying that that baby wants to get tested. Uh, it hasn't done much for the uh, oil and gas equities. The XLE is at 65. That baby looks like it's going to trade right back down to the 64 to the 63 area. We go take a look at the uh, silver market. What we have with silver is uh, silver's had a hard time catching a bid. I expect what you're going to see with the silver was 16.22. Silver looks like it's going to try to at least test the 16.10 area. And if, uh, if there's too much volume on the way down there, that 15.70 area is going to be wide open uh, once again for a test. Uh, we go over to the euro. We take a look at the euro. What we have with the euro, euro right now is at uh, 117. That thing looks to me like it's going to come back in somewhere about the 115.82. Uh, there's going to be a lot of moving pieces out here this week, folks. And uh, what we are going to have is that we're going to have a, a huge amount of earnings uh, once again. Uh, TW, uh, let's take a look at this. So D TW, uh, LO, that just came out with numbers. Uh, that closed at $30.53. That is trading at $34.20. You stay right there, folks, and we come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Right back, folks. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. 
248. Let's go take a look at, so TWLO, uh, they, they develop, publish internet infrastructure solutions. The company offers cloud computing platforms to allow web developers to integrate phone calls, internet protocols, uh, text messaging, uh, all of the above. Uh, this closed at uh, $30.53. It's trading up about four, uh, trading up $4. So if we take a look at this, now this, this equity got killed the last time I came out with numbers. Uh, I went from $34 and opened the next morning at $24. Let's pull this back. Oh, I see. This thing's already got smoked anyway. So this is got, this was a $70 stock in 2016. And so let's see. So it went public um, at 15 bucks. They did a secondary. That was in June. They did a secondary at $40 in July, and number-wise go like this. Um, they took in, they grow, they've grown, there's no doubt about that. 2014, they took in 88 million. This year, they plan on taking in 359 million. Yeah, they, take, they just took in 95.9 million this quarter. So let's see what they have to say. So uh, the leading cloud communication platform company reported fiscal earnings for the second quarter, which ended June 30th. Um, this is a quote from the CEO. I'm, I'm extremely proud of our team was able to deliver at our Signal conference uh, in second quarter. We announced 42 new products around Signal. Signal must be the piece of software. Total revenue, uh, 50, no, 95.9 million for the second quarter. That's up 49% from the second quarter in 2016 and 10% sequentially from the first quarter of 2017. Um, the loss, it's still, they're losing money. So the gap loss operations is 7.1 million for the second quarter compared with the loss of 10.9 in the second quarter of 2016. Uh, let's see, key metrics. 43,431 active accounts as of June 30th compared to 30,700 active accounts as of uh, the prior year. Uh, Dollar-based net Expansion rate was 131% for the second quarter of 2017 compared to 164% for the, I don't, even, I don't know what that means actually. Dollar net expansion rate. Um, uh, they're providing guidance for the third quarter ending the full year as follows. Uh, they see re total revenue for the third quarter, 91 billion to 93. Revenue, base revenue, 86 to 87. Full year, they see uh, 371 million to 375 million. Let's go see if uh, Marriott come out with numbers yet. Marriott's gonna be coming out with numbers. Uh, Marriott closed at 106.17. This is Marriott International. Uh, it's trading right around the same thing. Let's see what they have to say. No, that's, that's not out there yet. Uh, CBS. CBS was coming out with numbers. Uh, CBS closed at $64.52. That is trading $64.50. Let's see if they came out yet. Okay, so CBS came out. So this will give us an idea to uh, what's going on with broadcast t television. So CBS, the estimate was $0.96. Cents. They came in with $0.97. There. There we go. Whoops, nope, one second. There, uh... Sorry about this, folks, just give me one second. It's always hard to figure out which one, which news story to pull up to see where, where you can get the quickest uh, news. We'll have to come back to that. Let me let me go. I'm going to go uh, into the chip stocks, LRC X. So the chip stocks today, folks, uh, were the leaders inside the NDX 100. You had LAM Research up five dollars and seventy nine cents. Uh, this is in a consolidation. The high of that consolidation is one seventy and uh, one fifty five. Nvidia, NVDA. This thing, I believe, closed at all time highs. Uh, NVIDIA closed at $172.35. $172 That's definitely closing at an all-time high. Now, uh, volume, bottom line, uh, there's no two ways about that. That was uh, 
anemic volume as you, you're going up and testing those highs. But guess what? We've been doing that for quite a while. Um, CLAC, KLAC, that was up $3.18. And uh, this is an equity that uh, actually has down from 109. Uh, but that got some juice out there. So I wonder if they come up with numbers, actually. Um, so they, let's see. No, they, they, come out, they come out with numbers last week. Uh, they declared a dividend, come out with the numbers last week, and uh, that stock, compared to these other chip stocks, uh, have been weak. Uh, SMHs, let's go take a look at the SMHs, because the SMHs are what basically blasted the NDX 100 uh, up so high. Uh, so the NDX 100 today up a buck and a half, 87.20. Last high out here was 88.35. It looks like it's going to go after it. It's going after it with uh, half the amount of volume, but it looks like it's going to go after it. And uh, the high is 89.71. And we'll see uh, if, in fact, that uh, 89.71 uh, number is going to get hit. Uh, GWPH, now this is uh, GW Pharmaceutical. This is um, the company that... Uh, basically does the research and develops cannabinoid uh, uh, prescription medicines uh, for cancer, multiple cirrhosis, um, pain. Uh, this is a, an, let's see, what, I want to see what, so the low for the year is 79, the high is 137. I want to see when this went public, what that was. Okay, so this company, it looks like, okay, so this company went public January 9th of 2014 at 36 bucks. Then did a, they've done three secondaries. They did a secondary in June at $86 of 2014. They did a secondary April of 2015 at 112. And then they did a secondary July 12th of 2016 at 90. Now, what, this is pretty cool what they've done, though. So check this out. This is, uh, this is a company that does not want to put a lot of shares out. Uh, each one of these folks, when they put out, they don't have a lot of shares outstanding. They did $2.8 million on the IPO. They, they did $1.9 on the first secondary, $1.8 on the second, and on the third, they did $3.2. Let me just see if that adds up. This is pretty cool. Yeah, that's not, so this is going to get intriguing. They get a market cap of $2.9 billion. They only have $2.7 million. Oh, that can't be right. No, they get 25. Yeah, that's still shot, that's shot shares, man. They have 20, they only have 25 billion shares outstanding. So let's see what they say. They just come up with numbers. Um, you stay right there. We'll be coming right back and we'll uh, go over these numbers. 877-927-6648. You had the uh, Dow Industrials uh, close at all-time highs. Uh, it's Monday. It's uh, August 7th, 2017. Give it Tuesday, August 8th, 2017. It's going to be Groundhog Day. We're going to be right back, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. 
Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so CBS, let's go take a look at CBS. Uh, CBS uh, second quarter, uh, the estimate was 96 cents. They made 97. Um, their revenue, uh, the estimate was uh, 3 0.09 billion. Uh, they came in with 3.26 billion. Uh, their entertainment revenue, the estimate was 2.02 .02 billion. They did 2.18 billion. Uh, entertainment operating income, the estimate was 352 million. That was a little light. That was 346. Uh, cable revenue, the estimate was 549. Now that came in good. That came in at 571. So that went up. Um, the operating profit, the estimate was three, 232 million. That came in good. That was 253. Uh, publishing revenue, estimate was 189 million. That came in at 206. Um, the operating income, the estimate was 29 million. That was 28. That's a little light. Uh, local media revenue, the estimate was 418 million. That came in at 412. And the um, operating income from that, the estimate was 132, and it came in at 127. Uh, what it looks like out here, so let's see what this actually saying. So CBS, so CBS bucked the a tough advertising climate that hit competitors, benefiting from what? From the NCAA national championships. That's what the uh, bottom line, that's where they got their uh, some good money. Advertising sales at CBS rose 4.3% in the second quarter. The owner of the most watched TV network said Monday in a statement that follows drops uh, in underwhelming forecasts from Time Warner as well as Sinclair and Viacom. Um, CBS, uh, led by uh, Les Moonves, has reduced its reliance on advertising by increasing the fees it collects from paid TV services and generating more revenue by selling shows in international markets off or reruns in the U.S. The company last uh, year, last week, hired um, a former executive of Facebook and Univision to boast advertising sales online. Um, okay, profits in the second quarter rose to 97 cents, excluding some items. Uh, with live Viewership of traditional TV in decline, CBS has repositioned itself by creating paid online versions of its two main TV networks, CBS and Showtime. So they get paid on the, the Showtime deal. They're making money on that Showtime deal. Uh, CBS is also uh, talking CBS All Access. 
All Access. That's going to that's an online version of its broadcast network to international markets next year. The company said earlier Monday it secured placement for its main TV network on DirecTV. Now it's already on TV web packages sold by the Dish Network. Hulu and YouTube. Fees from the pay TV operators and affiliate stations increased 16%, while revenues from content licensing grew 12%. That's a big number, man. Um, that, that, is, that is no doubt a big number. Uh, let's go take a look at the, uh, we got, uh, see what's happening with, uh, yeah, Grubhub. So Grubhub, uh, that was trade. That's traded up uh, four dollars and thirty-four cents today. Now I believe this came in with their numbers last Friday. Um, yeah, they did. They they came in with the numbers last Friday, and simultaneously they bought off Yelp a. Another company. So what Grubhub does is this. Uh, they operate online mobile platform for restaurant pickup and delivery orders. The company assists diners and searches for lo local restaurant, tracking the order and reorder for convenience. The company operates in the United States and the United Kingdom. So let's, let's look at where they make their money for a second. So, yeah, it's all from the service, man. Okay, so, uh, and yes. <laughs> So th this is a little rocket ship. Actually, you know, on, on Friday when it came out with the numbers, it took out the B point of a monster ABC up. So your A point on this is 34. Your B is 47, so you get 14 bucks, which gives you uh, 50, uh, 42, 52, 56. It just finished an ABC up. Um, and there's no doubt if you actually, uh, here, Panera, P-N-R-A. If we go over to Panera, so, Panera acquired. Who bought Panera? We gotta find out who. Let me see who bought Panera. You know why, folks? Because what happened? Uh, oh, this is this went private. So check this out. Oh, they did this right on time. So I forgot that Panera went private. So what's go, what's going on with Panera, folks? Right? If you you start going by these Panera outlets and you're seeing huge signs now. We deliver. Um, all, all of this, this delivery service, uh, it looks to me like uh, the fast food business in general um, has a huge uh, opening because I don't think they realize how much people would actually pay for delivery. When, when you look at uh, Domino's, that's how Monaghan became one of the richest guys, you know, before he decided to give most of it away. Um, but Papa, jo Papa, Papa John's, same deal. Uh, inside the pizza business, that's been going on for a long time. Uh, now what you're gonna see, uh, what we have seen, is that that's going on in the broader business in a big way. I mean, when you look at McDonald's, McDonald's, uh, bottom line, they rolled out Uber Eats and 3,000 restaurants, that thing took off. Uh, we'll see whether they are gonna end up with their own delivery service. I expect what, you get, what you're actually gonna see, it, it would seem to me that I, I know, uh, there's a restaurant news is the publication of the restaurant business. And that's just not the fast food business, the restaurant business in general. And they have some great charts as to how much food gets pushed out, what we eat, what the price breaks are, and what the margins are. So the, the best margins on a continual basis what do you think they are? Chicken wings. And, well, I guess it's just not the best margins. It's, it's what's the most consistent margins and companies make money. Because I was looking at this graph so that the, the graph actually goes back before the crash in 2007 to 2010, at the crash, after the crash. Bottom line, it's out there in spades. And when I was looking at that, I said, you know what? I wouldn't doubt that if it's an Uber, picture this, you, you get an Uber, all you do is what? All you're, you're, you, you turn around and you put a um, st 
store that people don't go to, you just order, and bottom line, you know, I mean, you can make good chicken wings. It's not, not the end of the world. And you can do the same with pizza, you know. And pizza may have that, one of our targets said, I thought pizza had the best margin, and pizza may, you know, because a um, hundred bag, I don't know what a hundred pound bag of flour costs anymore, but it's not expensive. Uh, the expense in pizza is the cheese. Good cheese is, is but they're, they're both, um, delivery-wise, Store-wise, those are both the most consistent out there. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. We had the Dow finished up 25, Nasdaq up 32, S&P's up 5.5. We're going to be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days, and it will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Basil Chapman will be giving a two-series webinar Wednesday, August 2nd, and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Each time the market feels it's ready to have a sharp decline, formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. This two-webinar series will be free for Basil's opening call subscribers, and non-subscribers will also receive his daily newsletter for one month free as a trial subscription. Sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, and gain access to his subscriber-only webinar on August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Hi, everyone. This is Basil Chapman, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my webinar series. To sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter and gain access to Basil's webinar, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, Avis. Uh, Avis closed at uh, $33.39. Uh, that is trading down 10% uh, right now. It's trading at $30.35. So Avis uh, uh, cut its adjusted uh, earnings uh, forecast for the year. They see fiscal earnings per share at 240 to 285. They had seen 285 to 350. That's quite a cut. Uh, they see year revenue at. Uh, <laughs> this is so funny. This is just the typo. They, they put eight point. 8.8 .8 trillion. It's 8.8 .8 billion to 8.95 billion. They had seen 8.8 .8 billion to 8.95 8 billion. 
they see second quarter net revenue, uh, the estimate was 2.27. They take in 2.24. They see the uh, earnings per share. Their range had been 32 cents to 71. Man, that's a, that's a crazy range. Uh, bottom line is that now that range is... Uh, Fifty-two cents. That's interesting. So they no, they just. Oh, I see. The range was thirty-two to seventy-one. Uh, they came in. The estimate was fifty-two cents, and they came in with thirty cents. So they they basically got way below that whole area. And this is where this is going to get wild. Watching these car companies. So you're down. You're down ten percent. We pull this back, and what this says, this you know, this is another disruptor inside the, you know, business business in general, and this this disruptor, of course, is going to be the car sharing companies, Uber, Lyft. Uh, you know, you've you've seen Avis go down from 69 bucks. You're trading 30 right now. This has a high volume low of 20, so it looks like uh, that wants to be attacked. Let's go see what Hertz is doing. HTZ, I think, yeah. So Hertz is at $15.23. That's what it closed at. Right now, that's trading $14.50. So Avis is bringing Hertz down. We take a look at this on a monthly basis. Oh, this is really a mess. So this is down from $125 to 15 bucks. This is pretty intense, man. This is back to, uh, so the 2008 low was $6.16, and this hit $8.52 on, in June. That's about as intense as you can get. And if we take a look at what you have here, you got 36,000 employees. Yeah, they've contracted quite a bit. So when we take a look at the last five years, 2013, it did 10.8 billion. 2017, 8.7. Uh, it's all about car rental. You get uh, the United States is uh, 6.7 billion out of the 8.7. Overseas is 2.1. You know this this car sharing deal, folks, is is a big deal because the real question uh, there's a couple of different questions with the, with the rentals. What ends up happening is that you get the cost, then you got to go park the car, and particularly when you're going to, if you're renting a car, going to other cities, and if, you, if you're going in business, which, you know, Hertz, Avis, that was a lot of business travel, no, no doubt about that. Um, on business travel, it almost makes zero sense when you're coming in and out of airports, and you're going to be somewhere for a couple days to get a rent-a-car anymore, because the Uber is so efficient, and what has happened is that at airports right now, airport by airport, it's turning into legal versus illegal, which it was last year. Um, and they have pickup spots, they have all of the above. And the, the cost differential is absolutely huge. Um, it's, it's huge, meaning that you're saving so much money. And, you know, what, what does happen is that the Price per mile in the last six months has come down dramatically. Now, the real question is going to be, can it stay down dramatically, and will they continue to get enough drivers to keep that down? Because it seems like the, um, well, we'll find out how many drivers are out there. That's, that's what it really comes down to. But uh, that, that cost per mile has come down pretty dramatically. Let's go and take a look at the small caps out here. So the Russell 2000. Uh, got back inside its lower range last Wednesday. The lower range we're talking about is $141. Uh, you know, we had gone from 144, got back down to 139. Uh, you get a little dead cat bounce going here. So the Russell's gonna be something that you wanna keep your, your head wrapped around big time because what has happened is that when we take this Russell and you put it back, what you're going to see is that, you know, you're over the highs of uh, December of 2016, but just slightly. You know, you're, you're all of uh, 20 points over the high, and that is a long period of time staying right at the same spot. Um, if we go take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the S&Ps, because what was happening, uh, ESU7, 
So inside the S&Ps, look at this. This is almost, this is pretty amazing. So your, your, your S&P futures, we're, we're really, we're at the same, well, we've been at the same spot right now since uh, the 20th of July. You know, you, you broke topside on the uh, July 14th. I uh, got up to this uh, 2478 area. Uh, and each and every day, we're, we've been hanging at this 2478. So we'll see what the catalyst is uh, to even get us up and over that baby or give it up. NFLX. Let's go to Netflix. Yes. So Netflix, folks, trading one, trading up a buck. Now, Netflix just bought its first company. Um, let's see what it is. So Netflix announced its first ever acquisition, snapping up comic book publisher and pushing a strat and and pushing a strategy that has been popular with major Hollywood studios for years, superheroes. Netflix agreed to buy M Miller World, the publisher of characters and stories like Kingsman and Old Man Logan, uh, for an undisclosed amount. Uh, Netflix and Miller World uh, founder Mark Miller will jointly produce films, series, children's shows based on the comic book characters for the streaming service, while the publisher will also continue making comics under the Netflix label. Miller, who runs the company with his wife Lucy, previously developed comics for Walt Disney, Marvel, that inspired the first Avengers film, Captain America, Civil War, and Logan, the statement said. That's pretty intense. Um, once an industry uh, outside of Netflix has emerged as one of the TV's industry's most powerful forces. Uh, so that, that makes sense, you know. Uh, bottom line, uh, action characters uh, is, is a big deal. Yeah, and Kingsman, uh, one of my targets, uh, love Kingsman. I, I happen to like Kingsman too. It's not, it's, there's, no, there's no doubt about that. So, and uh, I think I've seen Logan too. Um, you know, we'll see where NFLX, let's see where Netflix is right now. So Netflix is at all time highs. Well, just barely off all time highs. Yeah, this is a monster, man. 191.50 or 181.50, but you get a high volume high out here, 191.50. This thing's not done. And, you know, it's pretty anemic, you know. Man, when this correction comes, it's going to be vicious. It is. There's some of these equities. Netflix will be one of them, folks, uh, that has been up for a long period of time on dramatically lighter volume. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. And don't forget, for this full month, folks, every trading day, we're having a... Uh, contest on Facebook. You just go to TFNN at Facebook, like us, tell us what the close is. You'll see it right pinned to the very top tomorrow morning, 8.30. Check it out, folks. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. 
Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. And folks, don't forget, um, so for the full month of August, uh, as you come over to our website at TFNN, what you're going to see right on the front page is you're going to see whoop, the, uh, there we go. So on the front page, what you're going to see is you're gonna, we're giving away five thousand dollars worth of prizes in the month of August on our Facebook page. Now, if you'd like to come over to Facebook, you'd like us each and every day. What we're doing is this: uh, at approximately eight thirty in the morning, you're going to see the uh, what market that would like to guess the close at. Today was the Dow Industrials. Uh, you can guess all day long. Well, you guess once, but bottom line, you have all day to do it. The cutoff date is 3.30. Uh, today, the first prize was a Taz uh, Profile Scanner. The second prize was a subscription to the Gold Report. Third prize was a Think a Swim Mouse Pad. And then each and every day, we do a ran random drawing, folks. Uh, for the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. So check it out, a lot of fun. Uh, we either do the Dow Industrials, the NASDAQ Composite, uh, or the S&Ps. So the way you do it, you can either come to our website at TFNN and hit the link, that gets you over, or you can turn around and just go to Facebook, just pull up TFNN, you'll see uh, that pinned to the very top as to what the prizes are, number one, what the indice that we're looking for at the close at, at the four o'clock uh, time frame. Um, dollar index out here, folks, this dollar wants a higher price. So we'll see whether this is gonna be an ABC structure on the way up. And what a, uh, I mean, uh, ABC structure on the way down, building the, the B to C point of the structure. And if we, if we are doing that, what you're going to see is that you'll see a contraction of volume as we start doing a counter trend bounce. Um, yeah, so bottom line, if that's what we get, then you're going to see good old King Dollar down at that 88 area. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. Look forward to speaking at 9 o'clock, right tomorrow morning. Wow! Go get them, folks. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. 
Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today.